time to do the rear wide body. If we're doing the rear wide body today, or this week, or whatever, however long it takes, and I got some sweet new tools to help this process because the angle grinder sucks for cutting sheet metal. So Bad Dog Tools has sent out a whole package of sweet tools. The thing that I'm most excited about for this project is the biter, they call it. All right, let's try this. I'm just gonna go right here, straight at the... Dude, this thing is awesome. <laughs> Holy crap. Whoa, what the heck? There's another one here? This thing is wild. Look how easy that was. That was like a few seconds. And you just, you just point it whichever way and it goes. This thing is crazy. Look at all the freaking little bites it took. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense why they call it a biter. But look at that, dude. Super clean cut. Just chowing down on this freaking sheet metal. Keep going, dude. Let's just get the whole quarter panel off in one go. I expected this to take a lot longer. The only issue is some of the bondo areas here are so thick that it's getting like stuck because like the, mouth, oh, the opening for like the mouth of it isn't that big. So I gotta stop here. Holy shit, my drill is hot. Jesus Christ. I should probably take some breaks with this thing. This thing's not that hot, it's just a little warm, but my drill my driver is pretty hot. So here I gotta cut it because it's attached to the, the wheel well. Crocs were not the move. My feet are filled with metal shavings. This thing is so much fun though, holy shit. Let's see if I can just pry this off. Yeah, this is just glue. It's not even spot welded. Come on. Mint SC400 quarter panel. What am I doing with my life? This is this is smart. This this is smart. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing, guys. I saw this on a on a TikTok once. Yeah, look how wrinkled this metal is here. It's just toast. So, as you can see, one side is mounted, gained a lot of rigidity. The only thing I have to make is a little bracket on the bottom here because this is just dangling. I just had it taped on for now. I gotta cut out the old wheel well. My process, if you watch the front, is cut everything out, put the wide body on so I know where the holes are. So now the holes are marked basically through the self-tappers. So I can take everything off, do all the cleanup, sanding, everything I need to do. Then once everything is ready in terms of prep, then it's just easy.
if you saw me struggle with this quarter panel, but I hit my first roadblock. This, this was the first piece I printed with my Ender 3 that I still had back in the day, like months ago. Every other piece was printed on my Bamboo Lab. Those all work fine. The Ender 3 piece, however, is garbage. Every single screw I put in cracks the plastic. Crack, crack. Literally the whole piece is just falling apart. It also doesn't line up. There's a bunch of gaps everywhere. The other piece lined up perfectly, but this whole thing just sucks. So I'm gonna have to reprint it, which sucks because it takes about four or five days to reprint the whole thing. God, what a piece of garbage. I cut all of this out and it was completely destroyed. All this was completely wrinkled. So this car has been in multiple accidents, like on both sides. And also on this huge chunk of body filler, look how thick that is, dude. Cause look, this car has been like, I don't know if you can see that. You see that big dent? I don't know if a branch fell on it or something. But yeah, something hit right there. And instead of flattening it out, they just filled it with Bondo, so. And a week later, new wide body is printed. And honestly, this one, I'm really happy I reprinted it because this one fits so much better than the last one. See all the edges line up. Everything is perfect. Nothing's broken. Nothing is cracking. This plastic is way more rigid. Really happy I redid that. This is something I did off camera. I designed this little piece, you guys. I don't know if I showed it, but I 3D scanned the other side and then I just designed this little piece to go in here so that this doesn't flop around. Obviously, it's gonna get glued in right here. Now, all that's left before I can glue the wide body on is I have to trim this more. I really didn't want to because you see there's the spot welds right here. I didn't wanna cut above those, but I am going to. So I got wheel wells or whatever cut out on both sides to this line right here because this is where this piece meets this piece. And I don't wanna cut further than that because then it will be really hard to weld them back together. So you can see I have a tiny gap here so I can just hammer this in, hammer this up, and I'll be able to completely stitch weld this together. I'm gonna to 3D scan it, 3D print wheel wells, and 3D print this whole area so everything's sealed off. What well, you saw me using there, this is the Bad Dog Tools HD2 wheel. So the cool thing about this is it's a diamond blade, so you can use it on a ton of different materials. Stone, brick, metal, literally anything. And it's a cutoff wheel because it's thin, but you can also use it for grinding, which is something you can't do with regular cutoff wheels. So you saw I cut it off and then I just flipped it on its side, ground it down to a nice smooth finish. You can get this in the link in the description. Make sure you use my code, I'm a ding dong for 20% off. This thing's badass because basically you never have to switch to a flapper disc unless you need to do like some polishing or finishing or something. whole side is welded up. Got the whole seam welded up. It's nice and rigid now. It's not gonna bend, it's not gonna move. Don't judge my welds, I barely do this. However, I did finally get MIG gas, so I'm no longer using flux core wire. 
and I gotta say it is so much better. There's no spatter, the welds are nice and shiny, nothing to clean up, nothing to wire wheel. So much damn easier, it's crazy. So if you're struggling with flux, just switch to MIG. Grind this down nice and smooth so it's not looking all bumpy and crazy all over the place because right now it is very bumpy and there's some little things sticking out so I want it to be smooth surface in case the tire does hit it. I don't have to worry about a cut tire, so. <laughs> Arches are completely welded and ground down so everything's nice and smooth. There's no sharp edges anywhere. Both sides are done. Here's the other side. I had to do this little weld here because I accidentally cut into it when I was cutting it off. But it's all done. Everything's nice and smooth. Super rigid. No holes anywhere. The plan is now to 3D scan this whole area. But I'm gonna do that in a separate video because it's gonna be a long process. It's a lot of printing, it's a lot of designing. So this video, I'm mounting the printed pieces and then fiberglass, but I have to hurry up because the weather's getting cold and epoxy does not like drying when it's below like 60 degrees and today is 49. So I gotta get my diesel heater chugging along again, go get, get some diesel and warm up this garage and try to get this done. Oh, and one more thing. You see, I printed this little piece and got it um, melted on. If you remember, the quarter panel here is severely dented in and doesn't match up with the line of the tail light. So remember, I 3D scanned this and 3D printed it and it's got a perfect, perfect little piece. So when I fiberglass over it, we'll have a nice area. Same thing with the other side. This piece actually just fell over on the print bed. So I just printed a little extension and melted it on so that it actually reaches the end and I don't have to put a bunch of Bondo everywhere. Got the diesel heater running. It's nice and cozy in here. It's about 67 degrees which is just five degrees short of the recommended temperature for the panel bond, but it'll be fine. You can see I got the wide potty panels completely off right now and I sanded everywhere where I think the glue is going to adhere. Obviously sanded this area more because I have that little patch panel that I printed. I want that to be nice and glued on. So it's time to just glue it on. Got the panel bond all set up in the gun. Both sides are on, fully glued on. Just wait 24 hours for it to cure. In case you're wondering, the stuff I used, I mentioned it before, here it is. M or 3M08115, it's just panel bond. You can find this everywhere. I got it on, I think it was Amazon or something. You'll also need this. This is the expensive part, but once you have it, you can do you know a bunch of stuff with it. And it comes with two of these little things. These, this is this is what mixes the, so you don't have to, you know, mix it by hand. And this stuff, if you watch my first, if you watch my front video, the I used um, a very similar JB Weld product. is called Plastic Bond or Plastic Panel Adhesive or something. So that stuff was a lot more liquid, which made it a little more difficult to work with because it, when I would apply it to the panel, especially the vertical parts of it, it would just kind of like drip down. This stuff is way more thick. I don't know if you could tell, but it has a lot more like particulate in it. It's more dense. It has like little, looks like little particles in it. I don't know what it's called. After the 24 hours is over, it's gonna be sanding and fiberglass time, which is gonna be the most fun, obviously. I already took my epoxy inside to make sure it's nice and warm so that when I mix it up, it's not all uh, hardened up and crystallized, so. All right, it's the 
next day and the panel bond is fully cured, it always amazes me how rigid it becomes once all of the sides and everything is fully attached. Like, this is as rigid as the metal parts on the car were. Like, look at this. So this is now the perfect time to figure out what parts will need more fiberglass than others. Obviously this does not need a lot of fiberglass. This is very rigid already. I'm probably just gonna do one layer up here. And then here is where there's gonna be a lot of fiberglass needed. So this spot will probably get three layers of fiberglass, maybe even more from behind. We'll see how it feels after a couple layers. But before we do fiberglass, feather all of the plastic edges into the original body. So right now there's like a lip where the 3D print ends, obviously. And that's how easy it is when you do zero prep and you stick it to smooth paint, see that? It doesn't stick that well. It's stuck well enough to not fly out at 120 miles an hour. So that's in Mexico, of course. I did that in Mexico. So if you watched the last video with the front wide body, the thing that worked really well for shaving down large amounts of plastic was just a rough file. And just like that, I'm halfway through to where I need to be. So time to do the entire panel now. Alright, so I know the wide body is not completely finished, it's not sanded, it's not painted or anything, but I think I'm gonna end the video here because it's getting really long already. I think it'll be better if I split it into two parts. You guys can see now the wide body is fully attached. It is completely glued on and fiberglass, everything's rigid. And now it's just gonna be body filler, lots and lots of body filler, lots and lots of sanding, and then finally paint. So those things are gonna take a long time. So I wanna just release the video now so you guys can see how the wide body looks because it looks amazing. There's gonna be a lot of other parts that still need to be made. Make sure you subscribe, you don't miss all of that. We have side skirt extensions, which I have already 3D printed. Here they are, go like that and fill that space. So side skirt extensions is gonna be next. Then it's gonna be the front bumper, which I'm completely redesigning. It's gonna be a completely new front bumper no one's ever seen or done. And then after that, it's gonna be completely new headlights. I've already made new headlights, but I want completely new headlights that will match the design that I'm going for. It's, I, there's a lot going on. And then after that, I'd like to do the taillights. So completely new taillights and then rear bumper, 
So yeah, there's a lot of plans still happening. I just had a crazy idea of doing a flying duchess in the quarter windows. So yeah, there's a lot happening and changing. So make sure you subscribe, you don't miss any of that. But that is gonna wrap up this video, Ding Dongs. It's cold now. I'm just gonna be sanding the car now for a long time. The front fenders took about a week to get smooth, so the rear is gonna take even longer. I'll do the side skirt video in between while I'm sanding, so yeah, it's just gonna be a lot of work. But So if you don't know, you can buy the file for this wide body, a slightly narrower version. I know most people don't want to make their car a full wider like I do, but there is a file that I created that is a slightly narrower version without the vent in the back that you can download. You can purchase it and download it, print it yourself. It should fit on almost every printer. Um, each section is about 190 millimeters wide. You print it into pieces and make this yourself if you'd like. I don't know if you saw in the video, but I put two layers of fiberglass here and you can see it's still, it's still a little soft here. I'm gonna add one more layer on the inside here. I see I already trimmed off all the excess, but this is super, like this is, stronger than probably the stock panel. And I might add another little bit here. You see that's cracking. So I would like to reinforce this here. It's pretty good, but there's some stuff that I'm gonna add fiberglass to on the inside. And also this side right here, I still have to uh, add a little more epoxy. You can see there's a little bit of some dry spots. There's a dry spot there. I'd like to sand this a little bit more and then add another layer just to smooth it out. And then also I missed some spots, I didn't wet it out. So I'm gonna cut this out, put some more fiberglass on it, wet all this out, make it a lot sturdier, more uniform. My, I've, my idea, like seeing it like this, I have just ideas running wild. I'm losing my mind with this thing. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Peace out, ding dongs. Upset, and they're like, you could have sent those quarter panels to Africa for kids to eat. America, America, America. Do you have your passport? Did you get your job?